good morning so how do you like it the last two days only one guy how was it great so we have the pre we had the pre conference workshops the great people over here really did great job and today we have this keynote speakers totally keynote speakers i'm not going to give any keynote but i'm just recap the whole thing what has happened last two days because we have 40 more people of joining for this last day conference so just to give them an idea what we have done i'll just recap it so can you imagine we have been talking about international conference and inviting in people from international outside india and then we call them international but we have participants from these countries i was surprised to know that somebody from bulgaria here just to participate in ux india that's really nice and we have 162 countries uh, companies are representing i want to know which company is not here can anybody tell me google we have google funds <laughs> <laughs> what apple yeah apple well, i think you're right do you have a apple here in india no, no. yeah so this is a great movement we have almost everyone everyone representing here so if you look at this count we have we have i've told you in a percentage but you can actually look at the number we have professionals academia and decision makers managers ux managers and we have startups and technologists the surprising thing here in the 80 it's not just only design schools it is iitians can you imagine iit hyderabad they don't have any design or iit madras like you know we have idc kanpur we also have design program and gohati design program but we have iitians and i also want to know how many of you more than 10 people representing from your company okay what's your company TCS give them a big hand how many people are going to 10 what about you 12 from informatica who else there was some hp ionotics why are you not they haven't come yet <laughs> there are more than 10 people representing here so we had great opportunity to learn from these legend some of our indian guys also here i'm very proud that we also have indian representation along with this great legends i hope you really like those workshops so we announced about ux clinic it was a closed session hi dominic we had a closed session of ux clinic and it was awesome shanmugam you are here so what was your feedback on UX Clinic? Uh, I run a startup called Fixmix. Uh, we are one of the emerging startups got awarded by uh, Microsoft and uh, NASCAR here in India. We felt really useful meeting the great UX people, including our information security product, next generation soft VR product. Thanks, thanks to Kalaza and team. So we had eight mentors reviewing these startups. It was wonderful. They also liked it also, our mentors also really had great time. We set up a process and we are hoping to continue to continue the same. If you, wish, if you, if you would like to continue this in your city, like for example in Pune. Atul, you want to do it in Pune? You are in Bangalore? I think we should do it in Bangalore too. Pune, yeah, you can do it. So we can extend this UX clinics in different cities so that Chennai, yes, that's wonderful. So startup community can really get help from ux community here and uh, we had industry and academia fusion anthony you really got angry on me because most of the people were actually on upstairs very few people were on the downstairs so he requested me to give 15 more minutes but that means i have to give 15 into 5 schools it will be too long and also most of you are leaving today early and taking flights, we have to close the session as early as possible so that you know, all of the speakers can have audience. So I said, maybe next time, definitely I'd take your feedback. And it's also, 
you've been telling that. I'm going to visit you. <laughs> yeah. So he's inviting me to his school in Pune. He's asking her, can we have UX India 2015 in Pune? What about you, Pune guys? Yes. But some of you from Hyderabad also asking me. Anybody from Hyderabad? Yes. <laughs> let's do it. Let's. Okay, let's see that. So we have keynote stocks here. And I'm telling you, each one is very valuable. You can't leave the seat. And I'm very thankful to you guys, all of you accepting my invitation and joining us. I hope you had, you have been having a nice time in India. I know that Bangalore traffic is bad. <laughs> so hope you guys had a good time last two days. So let's have you know wonderful time today. So we have different uh, no, talks. For example, we have uh, Swapnil, the poop guy. You know about him? Yes? Yeah, so he's very interesting. He's going to be very interesting today. He's going to talk about social innovation. And we have Shoaib. He's interested in supporting, funding design-driven startups. Do you guys have an idea, want to start your companies? Yes, only one guy? No entrepreneurs? So he's going to talk about what are the skills needed to become an entrepreneur as a, if you're a designer, because there are two different brain sets, creativity and management. So he's going to talk about that. And of course, all the legends on the top, you will be learning a lot of things, what design trends and their research and their experience, all those things you're going to learn today. So we also had the same slide last week, yesterday, I think day before also. And I've seen so many people are signing up to become a mentors. As I told you, mentors are, you know, we have two activities. You're going to teach your experience or your whatever learnings you had to the next generation. You're going to take workshops to the non-design schools, like engineering schools. Second is you'll be participating in UX clinics to evaluate or to support startups. If you are still not signed yet, please sign up. And of course, host the event. If you are willing to host just one day event, UX India is ready to support. We can support with speakers. Yes, what next? That's what I want to ask. What shall we do? Where shall we do? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> California, <laughs> yeah. So I think let's do one thing. We're going to, yeah. Goa. Goa? Oh, nice. <laughs> so if you promise me that all of you will be there, I'm ready to go with Goa. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to send you a link for polling again. Um, Lakshadeep. Okay, <laughs> so we'll decide on that. And we're going to start a job board. That's what we, you know, you guys are asking me, keep asking me that. You must have seen, we got so many uh, job requirements came in and we posted out there, outside also, today also you can see them. And uh, once you sign up in that UXI network, it's easy to uh, submit your profiles directly, you know, all these job requirements. You just click away and then you'll, we are just trying out how we can connect the industry and also the, our community very closely. Okay, thank you so much. And don't forget to tweet. We have so many goodies. I want to see more tweets coming in. We're going to show a cloud also who is tweeting and get you know, inspired and then keep tweeting. Uh, yeah, I think only 50 uh, connections are there, but how do we divide that 50? <laughs> So where do you guys come? Here? Okay, uh, we can share actually. If you guys have a uh, data card, then use it. If not, we can share this uh, and Wi-Fi password. And we have Binay here, Bin Robin, Robin. So Robin here, he is uh, uh, monitoring 
how many number of tweets you are tweeting, the maximum number gets that Excel software. I think last year winners also here. Shitish Anand. You were second? Okay, good. So, yeah. So, it's it really good actually. You'll, you'll see, you know, if people keep tweeting, how people respond and retweeting. And also add hash UX along with hash UX India 14 in your tweet. If you add hash UX, it will be like entire world will watch you. Okay, they'll see that UX India is doing amazing things. And last year, I, I, somebody is saying that it was trending in India. And when suddenly, you know, 400 people tweeting, UX India 14 was trending. So let's do that. Anything else? Any questions? No questions? Thank you so much. Salazar. Yeah. I have a question for you. We have seen uh, all hand gestures and uh, hand posters everywhere. So could you just elaborate on that? Why is it uh, just some meaning, some insightful uh, oh my thoughts God. on that? So, OK, have you, have you guys noticed that hands they're using? Ray, do you know why, why you're using hands? Uh, I know a little bit. You know a little bit? Uh-huh. So what about you? Anybody knows about it? That's amazing. You guys know about it. Let's talk about it then. Shh. You know this? You must have seen you know, movies. Shh. It happens. See, we've been talking about touch screens, you know, keyboard touch, and now we are talking about gestures. So there are some Companies, Flutter is already doing it. I think you know many, many of you. I don't have to tell you. It's been there. Connect is doing it. And even you have the leap. How many of you have leap? Yeah, you have the leap. So what are we doing? So if after Apple introduced this uh, iPhone, our posture has changed. We used to be like this. We are now like this because the phone is here. So what is happening is, now our life is like this. And after a couple of days, our life is going to be like this. Why? Apple Watch. Apple Watch is going to be like this now. We'll be like this. So we are changing our posture. It is actually spoiling our health. So why am I talking about health and gestures? What is the relation between this? Do you know where mudras have been invented? Yeah. Where? Bharatanatyam. It has been there. In India, it has been there. What is this guy doing? <laughs> it's called Apana Mudra. <laughs> so what it does is, the Indian mythology, if you read, you know, if you see the dance, Natya and also Yoga Mudras, <coughs> if you are familiar with yoga, we have yoga mudras like this. So, okay, this guy is actually matching. If you see this, it balances out excess fire energy. I was actually mapping our mudras with these gestures. You know what this guy doing? Who is he? Iron Man. He is doing pataka mudra. <laughs> you know, pataka is not stop. Bhasmam, you know, we have this, no? You must have seen in movies, if you haven't read the Gita and all, at least in world movies, you see that, Bhasmam. So he's doing that, symbolizes victory. So I don't know how, did they study that or how did this happen? There is something, you must be knowing this. Shiva, what does he do? <coughs> Thandavam, if he gets angry, he uses Pataka. To Basmam. Look at this. This is very interesting. What Lakshmi is doing, Varada Mudra, Varada is fulfilling your wishes. It's not Habaya. Habaya is giving you Abhaya. I am there for you. That is Krishna's Mudra. Lakshmi is Varada Mudra. She is giving you wealth. And check out this Jnana Mudra, a seal of wisdom. 
Can you imagine Jesus is giving a mudra using prana mudra? It is healing. See, is it coincidence or? So I thought, okay, let me look at this. I think let me finish this first. Let us do this first, all of you. So keep your left hand and right hand, touch these two. Thumb. What it does is deeper inner peace. So you are actually closing the energy circle. So your energy is going deep inside. Slowly you go into meditative mood. And what mudras they say is, it's not only just the body, it connects with mind. And slowly, you know, when you talk about yoga, meditation, it is leaving to the spirituality. So this mudra is a great lock to immediately getting into meditative mode. Be in there for some time. You will feel the inner spirit peace. This is lotus mudra. When you are frustrated, you are feeling lonely, you are dejected, use that mudra. You feel great. I am not faking. This has been studied and this has been you know, recorded for the thousands of years back. We are using this Garuda mudra, eagle. What it is saying is, it helps you improve your blood circulation and breathing problems. Garuda mudra. Of course, I am not going to take you for the last, all those 236 mudras and there are 50 mudras are really used, currently people are using in Natya and also in uh, yoga. So what I thought was, look at this interesting thing. What I thought, if we are using gestures like natural gestures, like if you see Samsung recent TV, I have a TV that if I do this, my desktop moves to this side, if I do this, it goes. So it will be like having five desktops, I do like this, it goes off. And I want to increase the volume, I do pinch and do this. Like I don't touch it, I'm just doing gesturing. So what's happening is increased volume. So what about, we are, what we are doing is, we are commanding the interface. We are using commands to do what we want. Just imagine, how about communicating? You just notice that there is lotus mudra. You feeling lonely, you are at home and you did that. And your house is a connected house. You know the connected house, no internet of things. So what happens? Your house understands that you're feeling lonely. Just imagine the music starts playing. So just not only commanding, how about others understanding your feelings? Who are the others, your surroundings? I thought, why, why don't we explore a little more? These mudras are actually, you know, I think you must be knowing about acupuncture acupressure. So they say that you have this region is for heart. This region is for eyes. So each part of each you know, bit of this hand has got a significance or map with your body parts. So by doing this, it is actually you know, taking the reflexes and the muscle and then it is acting. So how do you read this? Now you are you, doing it, but how does an interface or an object understands your movements. So I came across this product, Mio. How many of you know this product? Does it? But they are not using it for this purpose. I thought this product is going to be an excellent source for you know, doing these mudras. So this could also be a new interaction paradigm. The gestures are going to be the next generation interactions. How about merging the mudras, because mudras are used in yoga. Yoga is universal now. You don't call it as Indian, though it's originated in India, but it has been, Buddha has taken it to all whole world. And in, anywhere if you see yoga centers, like you know, how we have a palm centers in India, yoga centers are there in US or UK, anywhere. So this becomes, this I thought, this could also become a universal language. Do you agree that, guys? Thank you.